Welcome to Game Night tonight for another unboxing of DC deck building game crossover pack number four, the Watchmen series. So if you haven't already played this game, this game is a lot of fun. You're a superhero working your way against different supervillains with different powers, everything like that. Um, but you have different superheroes that you are gaining different cards, equipment, superpowers, heroes to help you along your way to become the best at getting all the victory points and everything. As you can see, first and foremost, we have the instructions here for helping out, uh, explanation of how you can play this game, just a two-player game. You can do challenges, different setups. Um, it'll specify the, cl the card clarifications of the verbiage that's on each card so that you know exactly what's going on and how to utilize these cards that you'll find in this particular set. So there you go, you got the instructions there. And then moving right on to, we'll start with our heroes here. So in this one, you you have different characters, of course, based on the different comics that have been done by DC, which is kind of fun because it does a whole mashup of different superheroes and supervillains throughout the whole entire DC universe. And you can mash them all up into this awesome game. So first of all, I'm going to draw your attention to, it says crossover number four. Uh, at the bottom right of every single card, it'll always tell you what crossover pack it is, what crisis it is, um, what base game, just so that you can sort it out and divvy them back up and mash them up again for a new game entirely. So take note of that. But in this, you have superheroes that you're going to be able to play as. So Night Owl, I'm going to be just going through these quick. You can pause the, the video and get a close-up on what the powers are so that you kind of better understand them. But we have Night Owl. You got Ozymandias. Ozymandias. You got Rorschach. Sotch. And these names are fun. Dr. Manhattan. The Comedian. And the Silk Spectre. Those are the superheroes that you have for this particular set. Um, obviously, they all are within the Watchmen universe, which makes it a little bit more fun. Um, because if you're familiar with the different universes that they come from, like say Teen Titans, uh, you got the Watchmen, all the different ones, they always bring different characters and different villains, different superpowers, equipment, all that stuff. So here we go again, it says, the for the first equipment we have, it's the Night Owl Mask. And then we have Rorschach Mask, Rorschach. Interesting. All right, then we have the Owl Ship. Is your first hero? We have Sally Jaspekchik. Terrible with these names. Hollis Mason. It's a lot easier. And then as our first location, we got an ongoing, as most locations are. Looks like you can get cards from the destroyed pile. So this may go hand in hand with the the base set. I can't remember which one it is. Heroes Unite, I think, which destroys cards. Um possibly forever evil as well. So reconstruction is our su first superpower because you're destroying a lot of cards based on what I'm seeing so far. But you got duplication. Disintegration. Pay 15 power. Whew. So looks like we're going to have challenges as well later. So we have villains. We got the rioters. Got Moloch the Mystic. Ooh, and here we go. So we got loyalty cards. We have a bunch of them. Um, each of them have different things on them. So I'm just going to kind of quickly go through those. So loyalty card. Loyalty card. You want to contribute cards to the challenges and make sure the main deck doesn't run out of cards. And then a loyalty card. You are the secret mastermind. Collect the cards needed for public villainous machinations card. Interesting. And here are the villainous machine machinations. Machinations. Power for progress. Move the heroes like pawns. 
outright villainy. Equipped for mayhem. There you go. So those it looks like they're adding a little bit new, a newer aspect to the game as far as you have a secret role, you're loyal or you're not loyal. Um, but then we have challenges now, which also make it more difficult. So it costs a ton to do. So this has to be something that is obviously brand new in this game, but adds a whole new dimension to the, the game entirely. So we have technological breakthrough as this challenge. And it gives different things for the, the secret masterminds as well as loyal players. So the different things happen based on the different things. So demonstration of power is the next one. You got the subversion of heroes. You've got turn the world against itself. Death by a thousand cuts. And then moving on to more challenges here, we've got various challenges. So these two blue challenges, we've got the Keen Act. So ongoing superhero abilities are blank. Interesting. So creating challenges. So it looks like you have to contribute. So this is like under the crisis expansions that you get where you have to contribute to get rid of the, the personal crisis or whatever's going to be happening with the supervillain. So you have these challenges that you have to beat at the same time. So this is rioting, level one. So both of them have level one. This is level two, Nixon. And the Cancer Scare, again, level two. Each of these are color-coded as well. Challenge number three, the Nuclear Clock. And finally, Alien Invasion. So it looks like there's they're adding a little bit more. It feels a little bit more like a crisis expansion just because you have those challenges and things that you have to contribute cards. You have to contribute two Watchmen cards, two equipment with cost four or less, three starter cards, three villains with cost five or greater, and they cost a ton. So especially these guys, the challenge is the mastermind plot. So to overcome the mastermind plot, you have to pay a ton to be able to get those. But that helps make the game a little bit more exciting, a little different, a little more fun. So adding this game into the base game of whichever game you have or all of the games, mixing them up every single time you play will add a little bit more fun and dimension to the game overall. But there you have it for this DC deck building game crossover pack number four, The Watchmen. That is what you get when you unbox this there's a lot more going on for it. I'm excited to play it. I'm excited to add it in, mix it up, mix and match, and have a completely different game entirely, it seems like, because you have different objectives, different challenges, things to overcome, but a lot of fun, I'm sure, in store for this game. So that concludes it for our DC deck building game crossover pack number four, The Watchmen. All right, join us next time on Game Night Tonight for more unboxings or game playthroughs or what have you. And we will see you next time on Game Night Tonight.